After Joe Biden became president, I said many times that I didn't believe Joe Biden would run for re-election in 2024. It wasn't about politics or emotion. It was just logic, common sense. In 2024, Joe Biden will be 82 years old. Too old, in my mind. Fact is, right now, he's the oldest president we ever had. I thought common sense would say he'd come here, he'd settle things down, and then he'd pass the torch to somebody younger to go on into the future. Now, Joe Biden said he was a transitional president, and I took him at his word. I believe that, and he is a transitional president. He took us from the shit show of Donald Trump and put us back on the road of a little more normality. He's done that. And while he's been president, he's done a good job. He's achieved more things than most presidents in history. Still, I thought, yeah, he's not going to run in 2024. He's 82. Time to relax. Time to kick back. You put in your time. Well, now Joe Biden announces he's going to run for president in 2024. And the fact is, if not Joe Biden, then who? Kamala? Not yet. Maybe in 2028. There's no other Democrats that are likely successors. So Joe Biden announces he's running for president. And save for any medical problems or maladies, he will be the Democratic nominee in 2024. Now, what I find disturbing is the amount of Democrats that don't take logic in consideration when it comes to the next presidential election. You see, there are 51% of Democrats that don't want Joe Biden to run for president. And I get it. It's the age thing. But logic tells you, okay, that's not an option anymore. Joe Biden is running. So we've got to get behind Joe Biden and make sure he wins. But my problem is, is 51% of Democrats saying, I don't want Joe Biden to run. Okay, so what's your alternative? You think Joe Biden is too old in spite of all the good things he did, so what, are you going to vote Republican? Are you fucking crazy? Are you stupid? It's a foregone conclusion now that Joe Biden is going to run in 2024. I own the fact that I was wrong, and it doesn't matter if I was wrong. The point is we have to deal with what we have to deal with today, and we have to deal with it logically and use common sense. So instead of working off your emotions or what you believe or whatever clickbait you read, we've got to use our fucking heads and vote the proper way. And under no terms is the Republicans the right way. 